And Vermont's largest hospital is trying to tell patients they'll be in good hands in the new year. This says UVM Medical Center's new permanent chief nursing officer is getting ready to start the job January 11th, a week from Monday. Local 22's Jolie Sherman introduces you to her. Peg Gagne is a longtime member of the community, leading and educating nurses for more than 20 years. I had a variety of experiences from intensive care to general medicine to mother baby care to working in home care. It's no surprise, Gagne wears many hats. I have perspectives from the staff nurse level and the manager level and the educator level. Since September of 2019, Gagne served as the interim chief nursing officer. She is somebody who I have come to rely upon as a colleague that I can lean on during our everyday challenges and I can lean on during our challenges that 2020 has produced for us. Ambulatory nursing director Don Gadare was Gagne's former nursing student before they became colleagues and leaders at UVMMC. So having that position become a permanent position and be able to share PEG with the community as our permanent CNO, I think the timing couldn't be any better. Gadare says she finds comfort in having a strong leader for nurses during a pandemic and the coinciding cyber attack. It was a very interesting year to be an interim, um, just with all the challenges that we faced. When the virus first arrived in Vermont, COVID units relied on Gagne for support. You know, all of the uh, questions that we had early on about you know, what was the right PPE to wear and, and what protocols were the best. As permanent CNO, Gagne plans to strengthen UVMMC's largest workforce. Really, now I have the opportunity to look forward and start to build in some of the things that I think are important for nursing. Gagne says she's honored to continue leading the community and doing so with boots on the ground. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.